Hey guys, how are you? I had a long day today. I'm tired and hungry. I got a taste for some nice, well seasoned chicken thighs. I've already cleaned them up and patted them dry. I'm going to season them now. I'm going to ship a knot and uh, cut up some mint, which is unusual. I've never put mint in on my chicken thighs, but we're going to do it today. So I'm going to ship a knot it, which means just stacking it on top of each other, like so. I mean, we got some of the stem, because it's even more pungent than the leaves are. That's all. And roll them up like a, you know, you roll in a cigar or so, something so, like, you know. Anywho, and you just go down. That's all. Get it? Of course you do. You've seen this before. And that's it. Oh, it smells so good. That mint. There we go. Let's go over it a little bit. Not too much, because you don't want to bruise your herb. If you keep, you know, cutting it, you'll make it turn black. You'll bruise it. That's cool right there, though. So, I've got my chicken in the bowl underneath my cutting board. So, we're going to add off mint. Okay. And from there... What? Before I touch my chicken, we're going to add some salt because you guys know I don't put a lot of salt in my seasoning. And you know we use them, then you lose, honey. It's gonna, I'm going to take it a little spicy today. I just have that taste. And I'm going to use some basil. Basil's my favorite herb. And you know what? Basil is in the mint family. They're both in the same herb family. Yes, sir. Sure are. And this is dry. It's not fresh like the mint, so we're going to crush it a bit to bring out the oils that's left in there. Oh, that smells good. Basil smells so good. You know what? I could have bought some fresh basil today, but I was tired. I wanted to get out of that store, home, to do my thing to get this over with and into my air fryer. We're gonna air fry this. The chicken comes out so good and juicy. We put some fresh garlic. I could have used my smoked garlic that I put into my seasoning, but I don't want an over garlic taste. I want to taste the freshness from the chicken. So we're just gonna add a little garlic fresh garlic, and of course you guys know I love the juice. Okay. Back. Back on there. And I have some onion powder. It's just the taste that I have today. I'm going to add some onion powder. Onion it up. And from there, of course, you know, I got my own little makeup stash of dinner. But today, I've added a little bit more spice in there, the spicy one in there. So I'm going to stir that up well and add some spicy on there. Okay. We're not going to go crazy now, because when I say spicy seasoning, I mean spicy. Okay. And from there, guys, I'm going to grab a tongue, because you don't want to get half a narrow on your hands. Or better than that, I grab a glove. Grab my, let's grab some gloves. 
pair of gloves. Now, I got to have my hands in there and get it on there right and well distributed. Yeah. Yeah, I had, I, I got some great news for you guys. I mean, I was so blown away, I had to go to the doctor today. And he had run some tests. And one of them was for my diabetes. My diabetes numbers are so good. He took me completely off my diabetes medication. No more diabetes medication for Queen D, baby. Denise is done. But that just means to me to really watch my step. I don't want to go back. I don't like stepping back in nothing. So I'm just going to work very hard to keep my A1C low like it is. How you like me now? <laughs> Come on, guys out there with it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. When I first came back to Milwaukee, my A1C was 10. I was in bad shape. Now look at me. That's all right. I'm so proud of myself. But I'm not going to get crazy. As a matter of fact, I'm going to eat even more healthy. And keep it together, girl. Yes, I am. And ladies and gentlemen, rather. Because there are so many of us out there dealing with this disease. And it's a serious disease. Both my grandmothers died from complications of diabetes. My mother's mom had both her legs amputated. So see how serious it can get for me. No, I don't think so. I'm going to make them proud up in heaven. They looking down there. No. No. Granny and mother. That's what we called our grandmother. I'm going to do better for you. Make y'all proud of me. Okay. We got our chicken. Well seasoned. See? And that uh, skin should get good and crisp. See, now what you do, you make sure you clean your chicken well. Because they're not doing it. It's in a package. You bring your chicken home, especially thighs and drumsticks. Or quarters, late quarters. And you get in there, you get that slam out. Clean that slam out of there. And clean those feathers off the skin get under that skin. Don't take it off in, unless you want to. I love chicken skin. I'm not about to take man off. And I'm not about to take the bone out because that's where the flavor is. You can have what you want and still, you know, eat. You know, you can eat well. You, you don't have to put down all the good stuff. Just do it in moderation. That's all you have to do. Load up our air fryer. And what I'm going to have with this is some uh, broccoli. I'm just going to feed steam me some broccoli with some, I can't believe it's not butter, salt and pepper. And that's it. That's all I need. Yeah. What I'm doing is making sure that the whole thigh is seasoned well. Under the skin, on top of the skin, some of that mint on top of there. Okay. And then put your skin back, tuck it under. Make sure it's over, tuck it under, and lie it in there. 
That's all to it. Some piece, some of the thighs are larger than others. That's all right. There you go. It smells good. It, I mean, it hasn't hit any heat, and it smells good. I'm going to pick up on my videos, but I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's very hard to work and then come home, cook, I'm, and you know I'm running my business. i got to get my product in more stores and all this and that. And I'm going to make my business work big. I'm going to build me and grow my business. I have two grandchildren to leave my business. I'm going to leave them a legacy. I'm not playing about that. My Ouija and RJ, you guys know my grandchildren. Nana's a little sweetheart. Okay. There we go. Just make sure you got it in here. I don't want it too crowded up on each other. You know what I'm saying. I want my skin to crisp. Okay. And with the air fryer, it really doesn't give you the instructions on how long to cook this. It tells you how to cook, how long to cook drumsticks. So you just got to use, you know, figure it out. I'll say I'm going to cook these for like 25 minutes at first, and we'll go from there. Hopefully that will cook them and crisp them up. We'll see. We will see. All right, guys. Let's take it to the hill. Take it to the air fryer. I called Adrian and told her about my diabetes medication. She was pretty happy for me. That made me really happy. She was. Let me take that little piece off. Okay. Clean it up just around here. All we want to smell is chicken. Nothing burning. There we go. Let's get a look at that before we cook it. Those are my ties. <laughs> Let's see. I can carry you over here with me. There we go. You see my, okay, let me see. So you can see the air fryer. There we go. Put this right on in there. There we go. And I'm going to put it on 360, 360 degrees for 25 minutes. And I will see you in about 15 to put on my broccoli and get my broccoli cooked. I'll be back. 